Hi YouTube, thank you for checking out my channel. So I have breakfast, full day of eating video again, so oatmeal. I usually do oatmeal as my pre-workout. Um, I'll like switch it up sometimes and I'll just keep going with whatever works best, so oatmeal's right now. Um, I'm opening my second can of pumpkin, which yay. Yeah, and see they're big cans, it's not like small ones. Um, so I'm going to do pumpkin oats, protein pumpkin oats. So, I have my oatmeal. I'm going to put in a fourth cup of pumpkin, which is 61 grams. Perfect. And I have my protein powder. I'm going to do... Um, chocolate whey protein powder. I'm feeling pretty chocolatey this morning, but also pumpkin-y. They should make pumpkin protein powder. <laughs> that would probably be really good. Or I should just get cinnamon because mixing cinnamon with pumpkin would be good. So I have a half a scoop there, which is 17 grams for this brand. Um, I just get it at Costco. It's like actually really good macros and it's cheap because it's Costco and you get a lot. Um, I have my pumpkin pie spice which smells delicious this morning. It smells like fall. So I'm just going to put in like a half teaspoon and then chocolate chips. Just some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm going to do half a tablespoon, which is seven grams. All right, and I'll mix that up. I'm gonna top it off with Halo Top. I usually do like oatmeal cookie or something, um, but I am kinda tired, so I feel like Mocha might have some coffee or caffeine in it. I don't know. One time I went to an ice cream shop and they were like, yeah, it's like equal to a whole cup of coffee. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, and this has chocolate. And I'm chocolate. I'm in a chocolate mood, like I said. So I'll, um, I'll cook this up and then I will show you the final product. Get my post-workout. I'm probably going to do a Mocha Frappuccino today. Um, so I'll show that. Um, my dog walking schedule is pretty nice. I have a lot of breaks because Fridays are like weird sometimes. So I'll probably get to eat real food and I'll show you that. Alright, so here we go. My pumpkin chocolate oatmeal with mocha chocolate halo top on top. Gonna go eat this and I'll be back with my post-workout snack. Hi guys, I'm back. I just posted my blog post because it's Friday on my Tumblr, um, Cake and Weights, so you can check that out if you haven't yet. Um, I have ice and coffee in here. I'm making a, a mocha post-workout frappuccino, so coffee and ice, I don't really measure that, um, and then Hershey's chocolate syrup. So I'm going to do one tablespoon, which is 19 grams, and then, um, oh, a frozen banana. I almost forgot my banana. So, like I said in my last one, you want to chop it up and peel it before you freeze it, um, or it'll just be hard to deal with. So have about 80 grams of frozen banana going in there. And I'll put in my post-workout supplements, my beta alanine and my creatine. I'm still deciding. I have my peppermint extracts in here and I'm like, should I try peppermint mocha? I've always done mochas before. I've never tried peppermint. Um, but someone actually brought that up to me the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, you're right. That's a really good combination. Uh, Alright, so it's ready. I added in like a hint of mint. So I'm excited to taste that later. Um, I'm just going to bring this with me to the gym so it's ready to go afterwards. I have lower body today. I'm going to hit my glutes, get some squats in because the squat rack was busy last time. So I just did leg press. So I'm going to get some squats in, glutes, calves. 
so I'll see you after the gym. Alright, so for lunch I have my waffle mix made, um, I'm going to boil, soft boil an egg, um, do the laughing cow cheese, so waffle, laughing cow cheese, soft boiled egg. I usually save one waffle as my sweet thing, but I think I'm going to try out something else. Check that out. Oh my gosh, yummy. So I'm going to eat that. And I have my dessert in the oven, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, I'm excited about that, doing something new with my pizza crust. Um, all right, so I'm going to eat this. All right, so unfortunately, that Hot Pocket dessert did not come out super delicious, and I was like, yeah, I really don't feel like eating this if it's not on par. So I just mixed some Greek yogurt with sugar-free, fat-free cheesecake jello mix. Um, I like scooped off the uh, oatmeal cookie halo top. I just finished lemon cake and I'm still not at a half cup serving. So um, I might grab another flavor to mix in here. Um, I need like 20 more grams. So that's what I'm going to have. Oh, and I actually was kind of worried it wasn't going to work out. So I saved my other waffle. So I have that to add in, too. So it's like a waffle sundae. All right, so I'm going to eat that. I have two more dogs to walk. Um, yes, two more, then I'm house-sitting, so I'll actually be at the house-sitting house next time I talk to you guys and eat. All right. guys all right so it's kind of like dinner time or so I'm gonna just have like a lighter meal and then eat again if you haven't noticed I do smaller meals I just like to eat smaller meals a lot of meals during the day so I can do like savory sweet savory sweet because I usually like to end on a sweet note all right so what I'm doing is pot stickers I'm house sitting and um, I didn't bring any cooked meat, so um, I just got out of the shower and want to eat, and my chicken's still frozen, so I just didn't want to deal with that, so I found some pot stickers in the fr freezer, um, so I'm doing three of those over spaghetti squash with some Asian sauce, um, and I'm going to add in some of my tuna from yesterday, just for more protein. So, yes, that's what I'm doing for dinner. I might do like a salad on the side or like lettuce inside of this mess. Um, so I'll show you that and then I'll do something sweet probably. Um, and then who knows what later, we'll see. All right, so here it is. I put some lettuce on, put some spaghetti squash and tuna, dumplings. I drizzled some duck sauce over top too. So I'll eat this, then I'll probably grab some things sweet right after, so I'll be back shortly. Hi there. Alright, so what we have for our dessert um, to dinner is Greek yogurt mixed with sugar-free, fat-free chocolate jello pudding mix. Um, I have peanut butter and chocolate chips in here. The house I'm at only had reduced fat peanut butter, so that's okay. I'll make do. Um, they left some cookies and wrote it on a post-it that I can help myself. So it would be kind of rude if I didn't eat any, right? I'm going to go for that. So I'll go for one of those in my bowl and some enlightened triple chocolate ice cream on top, a half cup. So... That's what I'll do. I'll show you the final bowl when it's all ready. Um, I'm going to microwave this melted down to my little sauce to put on top. So, yeah. All right, here's my bowl. Yogurt on the bottom. My little dip sauce here. 
my ice cream and the cookie hey guys all right so it is my last meal unless I get a little hungry because it looks like I'm a little under my calories unless I add more nuts which I probably should just do um, all right so what I'm doing is yogurt I love yogurt can you tell um, yogurt with some canned pumpkin puree I'm gonna do some mixed nuts unsalted um, I'll do white chocolate pudding mix my yummy special K pumpkin spice cereal and I I'm going to go for another half of the cookie because my macros say do it. So um, that's what I'm going to go for right now and I will show you the finished product. Totally forgot to mention the oatmeal cookie halo top ice cream that was going on top but it's in there and look at that texture. Yum. All right, so this wraps it up. Hi, so I just wanted to talk real quick about um, food and eating. So many of you know probably from Instagram or my blog or from knowing me that I struggled with anorexia and um, I had to go to a treatment center, inpatient treatment, to get help and it was the hardest thing I've ever done but I wouldn't take it back for anything. It made me who I am today and um, made me a really strong person I think. So I just wanted to talk about how freeing it is to eat and not worry about what you're eating. Um, so like the first time I like went out on my own like to eat, I was like, wow, this is kind of cool. Like, I would have never been able to do this when I was struggling with anorexia. This is just, it's, it's like a, a new feeling. So it's almost like all these accomplishments. Like, even today, I feel like I'm like fully recovered, but just today eating like the cookie and that other half of the cookie, I'm like, I'm doing this all alone. Like, I am no struggles eating with people. I'm a social eater. So when I'm with friends, when I'm with family, I don't mind like eating unhealthy foods um, for the most part. Um, I do try to stay within my macros still. And it's, it's doable to go to like McDonald's, go to a restaurant, go anywhere and stay within your macros. Um, but just like Eating on my own was always more of a struggle for me, so I just wanted to kind of be like the face of it's possible. Um, recovery is definitely within reach, and don't give up if you're struggling. Get help. Talk to your family. Talk to friends. Um, reach out for treatment. It's, it's a way better life. Um, so... It's just almost like my life like flipped like 360 like from where I was it was like five years ago I think um, from where I was like five years ago to now like I feel and I know it's just gonna keep even like getting better and better I mean I hope because that's all it's done like I was okay I'd struggle sometimes and there were like times Oh, I'm eating whatever I don't really struggle you're always gonna have some of those like negative thoughts but I quickly push them out of my brain I have a really strong support system so I have friends and family I can talk to um, so all that's really important for recovery I think but I just wanted to kind of like throw that out there that it's possible um, you can shoot me a message, uh, DM, email me. Um, I'm not here to give you treatment, but I can support you and give you some advice or some tools to use, um, stories from my experience. 
because it was hard. It wasn't easy. I'm not going to say it was easy. Um, and it was a long, long struggle, like even five years, like I'm today, like, <sighs> that's awesome. Like what I, what I'm doing is awesome. Um, I just feel super healthy. My mom, like mentally, physically, I just feel healthy. So just wanted to share that. And yeah. All right. So thank you for watching my videos. Um, like them if you like them, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.